Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I am here at the Overstock store as you can see right there and I am hopefully going to find some stuff to sell online for a profit. Let's see if we can make you see the line there. You can see some people even camped out last night for this store. Sheesh. But me, I ain't about that life. I'm here about an hour early before the store opens. There's probably, I don't know what, like 20-ish people in line and I'm going to sit in my car for a little while where it's warm because it's like 28 degrees out right now. Man, McDonald's hash browns are so good, but they're so bad for you. <laughs> All right, about that time. <sighs> Gloves, very important. No frozen phalanges here. And if you're not familiar with how these stores work, basically everything in there is in these giant bins and everything today is gonna to cost $5 a piece. So there's usually a few really, really good items sprinkled in and then a ton of junk. So let's see what we get today. The line got quite a bit longer. Thank you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Are you Riani Kendence Neutralization Kit? Sounds expensive. Probably fake, but we'll take them. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there for the first trip. Drop the stuff off the car, come back in. Got some good stuff in there. A bunch of DVD sets, little off-brand Nintendo. Two of those K-Bar knives, those are gonna be nice. Massage gun, a bunch of good stuff. I'll go through it all when we get back home. <laughs> One stop down, I'm gonna go back inside. Hopefully we find some more. Sorry if it wasn't a ton of footage in there. It's hard when everybody's running around right at the beginning, but hopefully there'll be some more finds here in a second. Got some more DVDs, The Crown, one through four. That should be a good seller. I bought these last time and did really well on them. Walking Dead season nine, is that the most recent one? I think it might be, I'm gonna take it. More DVDs, Yellowstone, one through three. More DVDs and even more DVDs. I will take these all day, man. There are DVDs everywhere today. A lot of this stuff in here just isn't worth it at $5. Maybe on one of the other days, come back on like $2 day or $3 day or even dollar day. Like, like look at that. Brand new with tags, Camelback water bottles. That'd probably be good on like, you know, $2 day or something. It's probably worth it, but today, not for five. There is just a lot to sort through at these places. Make sure you're taking your time and going through everything. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. You know what that's for. Here's one for you guys to never buy and sell on eBay at least. Otter boxes will get your account shut down super quick. They are big on Vero's. Don't buy these and sell them on eBay. Another thing you want to do is make sure you're reading the labels. You can see on this one it says chicken wire mesh. That way you don't have to take this to the back for them to open up and you're not allowed to open up the stuff in the bins. But just make sure you're reading labels. Sometimes those are the best items and people look right past them. Oh, look at that. A static rope, that's probably a climbing rope. It feels like it's probably a tree climbing rope, not a rock climbing rope, but climbing rope's not cheap, so I'm probably gonna grab that. It's probably got some value. All right, gonna go ahead and call it there for the second time in, mostly DVDs this time around, but hey, still worth it. All right, 
So, did pretty good there today. I, I'm pretty happy with the haul. Didn't get any huge items that I know of, but we still got a bunch of bread and butter stuff. So, overall, not a bad day here. These places can be really hit or miss, but lately I've been doing pretty good at them. Also, sorry if there wasn't a ton of footage in there. I need to get one of those, like, chest strap things so I can just hands-free film stuff so I'm not digging through. It's hard to dig and film at the same time. Anyways, though, I'll show you exactly what I ended up getting when we get back home. But for now, I think I've got a little time left, so I think I'm going to go hit up a thrift store or two. Maybe I'll show you that. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be in a different video. I don't know, but you'll see in just a second whatever I decide to do. Okay, little bit of change in plans. I decided I'm going to make a whole video out of the bin store, so I drove down to their other location. I'm probably going to be picking through the scraps, but hey, maybe we'll find something that people left. Check it out over here. Just had our first spot of this store. It's a Swordfish 250 gigabyte uh, stick. Looked it up on eBay. Looks like it's going for around 40. That one was just sitting at the bottom. Just got to dig. Check it out. A nice little score right here. Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019. That's probably 60 bucks or so. And that is why you dig. Dig, 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 dig. Yo, look at that. Just one bin down. That was right over there. We got Microsoft Office Pro 10, brand new in the box. That's probably another 60 bucks or so in the bag. Then over here in this bin just came across two more sets of DVDs. We got Last Man Standing, eighth and seventh season, and then Better Call Saul seasons five and six. We will take those. I wasn't too sure if we were actually gonna find stuff here because it is later in the day. And, you know, people have already picked through all this stuff, but we're coming up. We've got quite a few things so far. Guys, we just had another really good score here. This little tiny box right here, it says Artistry Youth Extend Cream. I like to look this kind of stuff up because online, some of it goes for some good, good money. Look at that, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 40 bucks. We're taking that for sure. All right, not a ton at this store, but still got a few things. I think we're gonna go ahead and check out with this stuff. All right, wasn't in there too long, but got a few items. Not a bad little swing by. I got more than I was expecting to find, considering, you know, we were a few hours behind the initial rush of people, but still got some good stuff. I'll go through everything with you when we get back home. All right, I'm back home now, and I'm gonna take you through everything that I ended up picking up today at the Overstock store. So here is just a quick little overview of everything that I ended up picking up today. It was quite a bit. It was a nice little haul. What I'll do now is show you each individual item and I'll pop up a comp for that item up on the screen for you so you know how much everything's worth. All right, we'll go ahead and start out here with some DVDs. First up, we got Yellowstone seasons one through three, two different bundles of them. Next is Outlander seasons one through five and then Victoria seasons one through three. Lucifer seasons one through four. Two different bundles of The Crown, seasons one through four. Stranger Things, season one through three. The Orville, one and two. The Walking Dead, season nine. Better Call Saul, seasons four and five. The Last Man Standing, season seven and eight. One through three of the Marvel Avengers movies. New Amsterdam, season one and two. Killing Eve, seasons one and two. And the final DVD, The National Parks, America's Best Idea by Ken Burns. All right, starting into some of the other goods. The first one here was this Reini neutralization kit. Had no idea what it was, it just sounded expensive. This Piggy buildable carnival set, it's almost like Legos, it gave me kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's vibe, so I grabbed it. Next up is this little massage gun here. This one might end up being a personal buy. I'm not really sure yet. I sold the last one and I was thinking about keeping it for my wrist when I climbed to break up the pump. But if I do sell it, it'll still be good money. Then we've got this Gonex static climbing rope. Herdio four inch marine speakers for like a boat. A two pack of Samsung water filters. If you ever find these at the bins, just make sure they are named brand ones because some water filters, if they are off brands, can get pulled down off of eBay. Sorrento Small Dog Flea and Tick Repellent, an ADATA Swordfish 250 gigabyte SSD, Ultimate Werewolf Deluxe Edition card game. This is actually a really fun game if you've never played it. These two right here were really nice sales. These are K-Bar knives, as you can see right here. They have the USMC sheath on the inside, and K-Bar is a pretty good knife brand if you ever see it out in the wild, so keep an eye out for these. An AirTech Recoil Reduction System, size small. 
This little guy right here is a microscope lens. Here's that box of bootleg Pokemon cards. I mean, I could tell they were bootleg when I picked them up, but I text my friend, see if he was still interested. So he's gonna reimburse me for these. They're going to him. An AR Tech Jump Starter Kit. This little game station right here, it looks like an NES, but it has 620 built-in games on it. Almost done here, got some Shinhan Professional Watercolors. This one right here is a textbook. It's writing literature reviews. And the second textbook that I picked up, Theoretical Basis for Nursing, 5th edition. Brand new Microsoft Windows 10. And finally, Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019. So as you can tell by those comps, overall, pretty solid day out at the Overstock stores. Again, not every week is going to be like this. Some weeks you got, might get more, some weeks you might get less. I think today we got around 40 items, which is pretty good. And there were some solid items in there. So I am really happy with how today went. Anyways, though, that is going to wrap things up for now. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go down low, smash that like button for me, and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. So till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.